Hi everyone, Sandra here with Stupid Easy Cooking and I'm gonna show you how to make cauliflower steaks. Now, I have been doing these for years and years and years, but now all of a sudden they're a thing and I wish I'm kicking myself for not showing these a long time ago, but I didn't have video cameras and iPads and all that stuff 15 years ago. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it now because I've been eating these for years and they're so good. Now I am not normally a fan of raw cauliflower. I don't enjoy cauliflower as a dipping vessel or anything like that. It just doesn't agree with my taste buds, but man, when you roast it, it just turns into a whole different flavor profile. So that's, I knew I needed to eat cruciferous vegetables, so I made sure and uh, I ate them, but I needed to make it palatable for me. So I just cut them into steaks and it's just a head and you just cut it long ways. And if it breaks up, so what? It doesn't matter. Now, what I'm gonna do is very, very simple. You could just drizzle some olive oil over these like that and brush it on. But I like a little bit more flavor than that. So I have a little bit of olive oil here. And to this, to save time, because I, I, I have this pink Himalayan sea salt that I want to use on it, and I will. But for right now, because I only have one hand, I am going to just use garlic salt in this, just a teeny bit, just to say you put a little salt in there. Come on. There we go. And um, some onion powder. Just a little onion powder. I can make, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm gonna put some fresh cracked black pepper in there and some chili jam. Let me show you my chili jam. A messy counter that I'm working on here. I love this stuff. It makes for a nice sweet-ish, right there, um, Trader Joe's hot and sweet chili jam. Delicious. I'm gonna put about two teaspoons into this. I'm gonna whisk it all up with this really cool brush here. So, I can't see what I'm doing because I'm videotaping at the same time. So mix that all up. I'll put the I'll put that jam in there and some some more salt and some pepper and I'm just going to this is really hard brush it onto the steaks. I'll turn them around do another crinkle of fresh cracked black pepper right there onto these and I'm going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees until they get as done as I like them. And I like them to be a little crisp tender. I don't want them to completely melt away. And that's it. I put them into a locking plastic container in my refrigerator and when I want a side dish for myself at lunch or I want to feel like I need to eat with a knife and a fork to feel like I'm eating a steak when I haven't made one doesn't taste like steak don't get me wrong I'm not dumb I understand that it doesn't taste like steak but they're really delicious and it's good to include a little bit more cruciferous vegetables in your diet and foods that have color and in this case either the absence of color or all color but either way it's just good to incorporate nutrient dense low calorie foods all you can so sometimes I'll eat all of it in one day and sometimes I'll eat one steak with a salad and a little bit of my taco salad or whatever it is. Just It's just delicious. So I'm gonna use that chili jam and it's um, garlic powder, onion powder. Now remember, you're the boss of your sauce, so you can put anything you want to mix into this. You can put dill, basil, cayenne pepper to make it spicy. You can add sriracha to this. You don't have to use olive oil at all. You can use canola oil. Um, or sunflower oil, or peanut oil, or coconut oil, or um, don't use any oil at all and just brush it with, well, I don't know what you would brush it with. You guys give me some suggestions. But you can just put them in there just like that too. Um, I'm probably going to put some halved Roma tomatoes with this to roast those too, because they're, they get so sweet and delicious when you do that. You can do this with zucchini. You can do this with eggplant, which I have two right there, which I'm going to do the same thing with. That is my carrot ginger dressing that I just made for my lunch today with the uh, lettuce is gonna go in there. That's that, uh, that dressing, that Japanese style dressing you get at sushi restaurants that's orange on your salad. I kind of found one that's um, really fresh. It has only 
fresh ingredients in it, and that's three carrots and some ginger. Um, I'll have to do another video on that recipe because it is divine. It is so good. It's sweet and tangy. And yes, I used a little bit of that chili jam in there. So roasted cauliflower steaks, easy peasy. Any vegetable that you like that'll really kind of hold together. Uh, if you do do zucchini, it gets really watery, but that's okay. I mean, they're still delicious. And uh, try this with broccoli too. Really good with broccoli. But I'm gonna put some fresh garlic in this too, because um, I like the garlicky flavor with the, um, with the cauliflower. So if you like raw cauliflower, by all means, more power to you, eat it raw. It's even better for you. But I really enjoy this roasted because it just feels like you're eating a substantial meal when you could put a knife and a fork to it and eat it like you're eating a steak. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a great day. I will talk with you soon. Remember to subscribe and like, and uh, let me know what you think. Have a great one. Ciao.